Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 16 of FTB Revelations, where today I'm taking this whole build one step further, a little bit more, as you can see. Uh, so I, I laid out the foundation for the cool automations that we're going to work on today. Uh, as you can see in this room now, we've definitely expanded it a little bit beyond what it was before. Uh, so let's walk through some of the changes and then start building out some new stuff. So basically, uh, I've rewired the power here such that uh, our flux point is down here and we've got power going over to uh, an atomic reconstructor, which is currently disabled, but I'm going to show you why. Because uh, I found a new way to do atomic reconstructor automation, which I like. Um, and then we've got a layout here, which is the basically the same size as this dude. Right, that's going to be prepared for for doing the the uh, this bit, right? But we're going to need the empower here to take care of some cool automations. Um, so a few things to do to get everything working. Um, but let's start with making it cool. Um, we're probably going to need some filters that we may or may not have access to. What filters can we get? The count filter, limited item filter. That's what I want. How hard are you to make? You just need the Z Logic controller, right? Not terrible. I have a slice and splice, and I have some zombie heads. I can I can pull that off. That shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we definitely want a few of those, though. So um, let's start automating things, shall we? So not much has changed with regards to what works and how things work, um, except we totally can cover up some of the flooring here, because I made this a little bit neater. I ran the fluid conduiting power stuff underground, so everything's underneath now. So still just got to dump canola into here and we're done. And I have an idea on how to do that in a, in a nicer way than I think I was planning originally. Um, so you, I want the Atomic Reconstructor, and we've run into this many times in the past. I want the Atomic Reconstructor, okay, to only fire when there's an item there. However, if it doesn't get all the items, we're going to need to handle that, right? Uh, so we're going to need that. And we're also going to need the collector, aren't we? We're going to need some kind of ranged collector. I think ranged, ranged, ranged collector. There you are. Yeah, I want you. Only you, my good sir. There you are. Are we cool? Can we do the thing? We so can. Nice. Um... Let's put you like here-ish. Does that sound cool? Mm, let's put you here. That seems like a nice time, right? But we're gonna whitelist crystallized seeds. That's the only thing that you can pick up. So if I were to put a pressure plate here, for example, and make it so that this thing fires when it receives a redstone pulse, it works if we only drop one item on. But if we drop several items on and it doesn't finish them all, then it's stuck and that's not good. So we don't want that. We want it in deactivation mode. Um, however, with deactivation mode, we come some problems because if we put a pressure plate here and there's an item sitting on the pressure plate, we can have a not gate affecting the atomic reconstructor. The pressure plate is also affecting the atomic reconstructor. Luckily, I found a new toy, the entity detector from random things. Haha, -ha, check this guy out. He's pretty cool. Um, so what we're gonna do is place him here and we can set the radius for what we're looking for. And we can set what we're looking for down here. So I'm gonna say, if there's items in a radius of two by two by two, emit a redstone pulse. But that's the opposite of what we want, right? We want there to be a redstone pulse going on until there's an item in that radius. So we just invert the output and all of a sudden it's not running. How cool is that, right? Now you're set to only accept crystallized canola. So check this out. Um, if we were to get uh, some canola in here and we were to get a seed and we were to do something like this, it should work. Ta-da! How cool is that? How cool is that? Right? How cool is that? I love it. So long story short, you, sir, will collect the rain, will collect the crystallized canola seeds, and that thing's only firing the laser if there's an item sitting in there. How great is that, huh? So the, the, the random things entity detector is a totally cool way to just say, hey, if there's entities nearby, emit a redstone signal or emit a redstone signal until there's entities nearby and then stop, which is basically what I what I want. Uh, so again, right, we just be like, oop, canola seed, pop that out, do the thing, and then it should sit in there, and then and you're done. How cool is that? It's so cool, it works very nicely. So that's awesome. 
and that's nice and compact, right? Now, uh, we're going to need to feed uh, items into the the precision dropper, right? And we're gonna have to figure out how we're gonna automate that bit of it. Cause I basically only wanna put canola seeds in there when we need them. Uh, and that's gonna get a little bit tricky, right? So there's a few ways we can detect if we quote need the thing, right? But let's get the rest of this set up first and then we'll deal with what might be more of a hassle later. That sound cool? I think that sounds cool. So let's do the thing. Um, so you, my good buddy, are gonna need to basically we want to have the following things happen right uh, first off we want hmm, the trick is getting it into the precision dropper do we have I got an idea how hard would it be to make to make the thing a phantom face yeah, phantom item face, phantom face, this guy. So you need empowered diamantine and a block of ender pearls. That shouldn't be too bad to pull off, right? Because I can still get ender pearls from these guys, which now I'm out of, but that's okay. Everybody yelled at me to use those things. I hope I don't need them for nothing, All right? But if we had a phantom face and we had a phantom connector, that might be cool. All right i'm gonna have to kill some endermen really soon but a phantom face might make this a little bit easier to connect up with right so empowered diamond team let's get it let's get a block right um so you're gonna need two clay and a clay and a light blue dye that's not too bad light blue dye the all balancing clay So realistically, we want half of these, right? And then we just need a block of diamond. So let's go downstairs and use this one for now. That, 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 all the wrong clicks. Okay. Uh, you're gonna need power for all these dudes. You might as well get up and running now. How are we on power? We might need Hey, that's the wrong thing. More of these dudes, not a problem. Uh, gold. Eh. Getting low on gold. I have to do something about that. Alloy smeltery, pop, pop, pop. A little bit of acceleration, right? Uh, and while we're here, we should probably look at item conduits as well. But eh, first off, we need more of this stuff. Really? I'm that low on gravel? Am I that low on gravel? Ugh. Ugh. You pulverize into gravel, right? Good. How are you doing? Oh, <laughs> really bad. Oh, 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 you're doing really bad. That's that's why we're doing all this today, guys. I really got to stop with the with the tick acceleration when we just don't have any power at all, don't I? Yeah, I mean it would be smart, right? It seems like a smart idea. Are you upgraded all the way? You're reinforced and you're reinforced. Right. Well, we'll see. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Everything's cool. How are you guys doing? Uh, 1.6 million. So yeah, you're okay. You just have some work to do. You're done. You're done. Nice. And you're done. You're done. Also nice. Uh, so then you need to be this guy so you go away and you go away so I can get as many of these as I can make it's looking good to me and then we can run this cabling again how's that feel pretty good I like that right so now you guys are all getting your power 
So let's get our empowered diamond team, right? So, whoops. You. Really? You keep wanting to place on there. Can I do that? Nope. That's weird. Why are you why are you doing that weirdness? You should be placed on there, right? Oh no no no, I know why. <laughs> That's why. I always forget. Alright, so you should do the thing. That looks pretty cool. I like the lasers. I'm a sucker for lasers. What do you want? I'm assuming you guys have enough power to do this, right? We're really hurting for power, can you tell? Hooray! Okay, now the phantom face is a cool little gadget, if I do say so myself. Which I don't mind saying, because it's not like I made it or anything. Uh, I need end pearls. Excuse me, sir. I acknowledge that I have almost no armor, but I'm still going to kill you. Oh wow, that's a lot of health down. I really, really... need to do a better job with armor and everything. It's alright, I got this under control. We're just hunting without armor, guys, don't mind me. Is that enough ender pearls for now? Maybe. One would hope. Oh yeah, we got nine ender pearls. we got an enderman head, we got a nebulous heart. Pfft, we're fine. We're fine. Back to what I was doing? Phantom facing. That's right. So I need one of you. Uh, I need one of you. And I need a chest. Sure, some kind of wood chest. The frequency with which I need chests dictates that I should probably make more than one at a time. Cool. Okay. Now, can I place right here and bind you, what is it, this to here? Block stored. Connection is fine and working. Perfect. Cool. Four blocks away. Nice. Okay. So the phantom face can connect to here. How cool is that? So now if I wanted to, I could set up an item conduiting system like so. Right? And we will say that you extract always active and you insert and what you'll find now is that the canola seed disappeared from there and went right into here awesome awesome nice and well hidden how great is that i like it i'm like like that's cool right awesome now in addition to that what i'd like to do is set up um let's get some zombie heads i think four should be good how am I on silicon? I've got four. I should probably get a little bit more. So sand, please. This technically should give me about a six. Come on, RNG. Mm, good enough for me. Uh, so you go in here, you go in here. Just give me a tier one capacitor for now, right? Uh, and then we're gonna want some redstone. Am I right about that? And, 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 solarium. So I'm going to need four gold and four soul sand. Again, should not be tick accelerating, but also impatient. Now the slice and splice, I think it needs shears and, uh, and an axe, right? So let's just get an iron one of you. Really? No iron? That can't be. I mean, it can be. It just seems shenaniganry. Hey, how did you get in there? Mm. Do the jobs. Okay, you go away, you go away. Where's that sand? Oh, it'll magnet up, that's fine. So you and you, and nice. That's good enough for me for now, based on our low resource count. Looking shop. 
Okay. Because we want to filter how many items go into a thing. Okay. That's the plan. We're working on we're working on some shenanigans. Okay. So right now we're gonna use you basically to do an advanced item filter, so we can do a limited item filter. These things are cool. Um, do I have enough paper for this? Maybe. Yep, we do. Nice. A couple of you, and one of you. Cool. Two more of these, and another of you. Because I know we're going to need at least two, I think. So what I want to do is say, hey you, let's take this out of here. I only want, if we're inserting, um, I only want like four in here. How's that sound? So if I do that, and then we put seven in here, see how it has three? and four. Now if I take one out, it should immediately put another one in and keep it at four for me. And that's it. Not pull out any more until we need it. That's what I want to do because we're also using these crystallized canola seeds over here. Um, so we're going to need to run our item conduits here to be an insert as well. And we do want an extract, but not yet. Now he can only accept one item at a time, so we don't need to filter that. So we're cool, right? Um, now we need to also put canola seeds in, in these outer ones, but we'll deal with that in a minute. For now, we've got um, at least this thing relatively automated. The only other thing I wanna do is make this guy drop a seed if this guy um, doesn't have any seeds in him. So how am I gonna do that? All right, guys, I think I got something here. Woo um, so if we're using the RF Tools inventory checker, we can check slot zero for a certain amount of items. Um, so for example, right now, slot zero, which is this one, has two canola seeds in it. So right now we're saying emit a redstone signal if the amount of items equals four or more, right? If I change it to one, we're getting a redstone signal. If I change it to two, we're getting a redstone signal because that's how many are in there. If I set it to three, we're not, right? Now, if I take this out, and did that, we would get it until it transfers the items into the adjacent inventory and then not anymore. Cool. Now you only drop if you're not getting a redstone signal, right? So basically what we wanna do is maybe use a not gate here, which has a screwdriver doing this like that. Now, can I do this? But instead of that, east is nada. That looks pretty good. And then, boop, thank you. And you're going to output on red. And you're going to input on red. Is that cool? So that if you're getting around this, blah, blah, blah. Actually, yeah, if you have an, actually we don't want the not gate, right? We, we, we want no not gate. Yeah, I don't think we need the not gate, right? Do you have enough items right now? No. Okay, so let's make your count be one. So if you have one canola seed in there, don't drop more canola seeds. Does that sound cool? Okay, so watch this. Oh, that's not what I want. That's not what I want. You should be... This is the test, right? To find out if you can input from this signal. And hopefully you can. Now, what I could also do, so your output... I might make you strong signal. How's that sound? And we don't want to forget to connect that back up, right? Nope, you still want to do the thing, don't you? And are you giving me trouble now with your whole redstone signal? Oh, that's hasslish. If I make you not strong signal, will you fire your laser? Wait, that's the atomic reconstructor. Well, there's your problem. We don't want that. We want you going up to here. And that would be, this guy can be output red. Come on, Dyer with the derps. Can you figure it out yet? Okay, cool. So now you should no longer drop. Cool, okay, that's good. That's what's up. 
okay? Um, actually, I'm gonna keep you broken for now, right? So you're not gonna drop until you don't have any items, right? So once that's tr there, right, let's put these back in, hang on. Now here's the deal, right? One, one, one thing to keep in mind here, okay? Is that you're gonna drop pretty quickly. But that's okay, we'll get a couple extras and that's not a big deal, right? So if I take these out now, you should be off. Are you properly turning off the thing? You should be. Mm. Input red. Okay. Let's do something like silicon instead. Right? So I take you out, and you should start dropping silicon. Looks like it's not updating correctly. Oh, that's a hassle. Something funny is going on there. Oh, that's an input. That's why. Yeah, we didn't want that. Does that help? No. You're an input red, and you're an output red. If I break that, now we're getting silicon to drop, right? So we do that. Silicon drops. We put the stuff in there. Silicon no drop. We take you out. Silicon drops. Perfect. That's what we want. Perfect. Now you're updating correctly. Cool. So again, we have, if we drop this, you should collect and be happy. No silicon dropping, right? No silicon dropping. Then we do this and you drop silicon until it fires its laser. Now what we'll probably wind up with is we'll probably wind up with like 10 or 15 getting made at a time rather than one at a time. But I don't care about that, right? I'm okay with that. Okay, so now let's see if we can make a couple covers here. How's that sound? Does that sound reasonable? Look at me doing all the doing all the coverings. Oh yeah, now we're cooking. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna keep it like that. Yeah, there's an opening there. That's okay. When I when I cover you up like that, we're not gonna see you no more. I'm down with that. Okay, cool. So that's automated now, right? The only thing we have to do is automate piping canola seeds into here, but we can handle that. Not a problem. I got a plan. I've got a plan. Okay, so I just cooked up some dense cabling here and I probably want an anchor. Thank you, sir. And then I think we want to connect this dude Such a mess. I really need flight. Like, I really need flight. That looks pretty good. So we're just gonna be prepared for when we might wanna do some more things over here, but that should be good, right? Oh boy. Do I have flight yet? Why don't I have flight yet? Come on, Direwolf, get with the program. Decides to make all this fancy stuff, doesn't even have flight. Oh, goodness. It would make my life so much easier. I can't even tell you. All right, so you are going to have a couple jobs to do, okay? Uh, so first off, I want you to run over to here. And you're gonna have an interface who's gonna keep canola on you, like half a stack, whoops. Like that, okay? And then we can have an item conduit Boop, boop, boop. How cool is that, right? So you'll be insert, and you'll be in extract always active, and then you'll be getting canola. Cool. I'm gonna turn you off for a minute though, because I don't want to burn up all my canola just yet. So active with redstone signal, you'll stop export busing canola, and that'll be cool. Nice. All right. Now I totally sense an impending need for some ender pearls. Like, how about two of them? 
And some iron? Like, how about two? Of, wow, am I really, like, that low on iron? Like, shenanigans. Cool. Give me that. We need more item conduits, in my opinion. So, that's a thing we're gonna do. Okay. So, combine you to you, do that and that, and do that and that, and we should have item conduits for days. All right, now the next uh, configuration, as it were, for uh, stuff. Just wanna make sure I'm not running into anything that I need to worry about. Okay, so let's do this. Let's run an interface right here. How does that sound? I'm just picking kind of a random slot. And your job will be to store canola seeds, right? So give me like that many. That sounds cool. So your job will be to store half a stack of canola seeds, okay? Now you're gonna extract on a different color because I'm gonna connect you to all the, the item conduiting that we already have. Your extract color will be brown because you're canola seeds. Does that sound fair? So you will extract on brown, always active, okay? Now we're gonna have one, two, three, four, insert on browns, okay? Not extract, not extract, not extract. Boom, and you should be getting a canola seed now. Yeah? Because your extract on brown always active, canola seed, yay! Now, if I'm not mistaken, what we should wind up with here in a moment is a crystallized canola seed. All right, let's watch. Boom! How cool is that? Nice! And he's ready to run for the next one. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect! That's what I wanted. Uh, the other thing we want to do is connect the item conduit to you, automatic precision dropper. Okay, so if we pop into here... Hey, what happened? Why are you shooting lasers? Oh, right, probably because... Uh, I, there was an item drop. That makes sense. So right here, we're also going to have on the on the down will be nothing, and then on the east will be an insert on brown, right? But this guy, I want to have a limited item filter on too, and you're going to only have one canola seed in you, right? On the east. So you've only got one canola seed that you're allowed to have, okay? Got it? Good. And then you will be nothing, not that an empty, like, an, you know, but still, just, I like to get rid of that thing. Boom. So now what we should have, if I'm not too mistaken about how this all should work, is you should have one canola seed in you. Perfect. Now, um, can I just... Ah, good, that's how that works. If I take you out of here, you should drop one, and then we're waiting for more to come in. Perfect. How cool is that? All right, and then you're happy, and you're not gonna make any more, okay? But you will keep inserting just one canola seed at all times into the, into the dropper there, right? So now all the canola seeds are automated, making progress, all right? So what's last? Uh, the last bit of work here would be to set this thing up again. So this guy needs my scanners again, one here and one here, okay? And then you're going to have a fluid placer, which has no redstone-y stuff at all, but I want you facing this way, fluid placer. And then you're going to have a fluid collector, You're going to have the dropper, and that looks pretty good to me. Okay, now I wouldn't mind if we had another phantom face. Could we pull that off with our current things? Do we have enough ender pearls for that? We do, barely enough ender pearls, but we do. Ever so slightly enough ender pearls for another phantom face, which makes my life a little bit fancier. All right, so your job, um, 
will be to, let's make you detect the wrong thing for a sec. All right, so you detect that. So you're gonna do the redstone signal and we're basically gonna build this the same way we built this one, right? And that is um, with a setup like that, okay? That should be doable. Yeah, it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. So we want you here and we want our not gate. And then a screwdriver to rotate him such that he does that. And then make sure that you're doing that thing. Cool. So he's not allowed to collect or he will collect if there's stone there. He won't collect if there isn't stone there. And that will shortly be uh, the proper block type, right? You're always going to place fluid no matter what. Um, and then you're only going to drop these canola seeds, you know, when you're supposed to. So a similar setup here, uh, which is just, uh, this is the scanner. So yeah, what we want is the not gate here. And then the redstone. Boom. Cool. Okay. So now let's connect these two things with a fluid conduit. Perfect. Nice. All right. So then you are going to detect when there's crystallized canola, which will turn off the knot gate, which will allow this thing to drop. Okay. Which turns it into empowered canola, which you are going to be set to collect. Cool. Look at that. Beautiful. So now as long as you have empowered canola in you, that should be making empowered canola. Oh, it's working. Now to phantom face this dude, right? That's what we want to do next is uh, let's do it like right here. That looks like a fine place for a phantom face. We're going to connect you to here. And then you will not be extracting, but you'll insert on red. And you, sir, will extract on red. Right? So that you should be getting the thing. Go on, do the thing. Always oh, active. <gasps> it worked. Look at that. Sweet. Oh, wait, you also need to insert on green. Cool. And look, it's going in there. Perfect. All right, let's make you not extract for a minute. Only with signal. Because I want to do another thing, right? And you should be picking that up. Why are you not picking that up? That is empowered oil. That is for sure. Are you getting a redstone signal from somewhere that you shouldn't be? Explain. Oh, I think I broke a block. I know what I did. I was wondering if that would be a problem. There you go. Now you're happy. How cool is that? Perfect. It's working. That's what I want to see. All right, so now let's put glass here so that that stays fancy. Okay. Um, and the only other step now is to store this empowered oil somewhere that we can use later. Um, and then the only other other thing I want to do is make one more zombie head thingy, which needs a redstone. It needs two silicon. And it needs a gold, which, wow, are we low on and some soul sand and you guys get to work and you 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 and that should be cool ding ding make another one of these because i want the item counting thingy going on and i want to say only keep one empowered canola seed inside the top thingy fair what is that noise outside, and do I even want to know? Oh, no, no, that wasn't outside. That was the that thing doing its thing. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, so you, you, you need more paper, need more sugar cane. That's fine with me. I'll get more of that later. Do the thing. This should be pretty darn perfect. I really hope I'm right about this. But I'm feeling pretty good about it, right? So then give me that, please. Thanks. So that I can open this guy up, put you in here, and say you're only allowed to have one. 
Got it. So now when I make you always active, what we're going to get is eventually you're going to be full. You won't be able to receive any more of that. You're going to get one more, and then you're not going to get any more, and we'll stop crafting canola seeds. Cool. How great is that? Right? How cool is that? And then you're getting your crystallized canola seeds because you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. I think. What is going on here? Oh, your range is too large. Oh, really? You're picking that up before you're getting over there? Look at that. All right, your range collector needs to move. You are too close. I thought you had a... I thought I could specify your range, but wow, you are really, you're picking it up that quickly? Wow, that's kind of cool, but also boo! All right, let's stop that for a sec. Uh, we're going to have to just rearrange this. We're going to have to move him underneath the laser, I think, and that should be fine. And let's just give you a redstone signal for a sec. So that you stop dropping items. Okay, so if I put you right here, would you be cool, Ranged Collector? Do not pick up from there. So you've still got the Crystallized Canola in the whitelist. Yes, now you're cool. So you're not picking those up no more? Perfect, okay. So set you to be slot zero, amount one, ignore, ignore. And then that's cool, and you're not dropping no more, right? Perfect, and then you're the that, and then we just need to move this guy to be, now he was only running where? He was inserting on green? Yes, so he should be extract on green, always active. Okay, so now you should be doing the thing. Perfect, and he's not dropping because we have no more of this, right? Then we come down here, we set this guy to Extract always active, and then he'll start pulling all his stuff in. And that is fully automated canola seed, top to bottom. Pretty slick, I think, right? So you're gonna start doing your thing. As soon as you hit one bucket's worth, you're gonna do that. Boom, boom, boom. Do the thing, go back to four. Boom, 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 looking pretty fancy. Doing some good stuffs, and you're getting all your crystallized oil, right? Then once your crystallized oil back stuffs, your crystallized oil will back stuff, which will have your oil start to back stuff, and then this stuff will start to back stuff, right? How great is that? All right, next episode, you know what we're going to have to do? Use this oil for something. But watch, when I pick up a bucket, boom, 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 did the thing. Filled it right back up. Everything as one would want automated. Whew. I'm feeling pretty good about this. And most of this covered flooring will work here. So I, sh I, I pretty much set this up so I can cover up most of the floor and have it still look good. There's a couple wires, but like that's pretty slick, dudes. Am I right or am I right? Because I'm really proud of this. I'm, I'm really thinking I did a pretty good job. What, are you like out of smooth stone or something in here? Uh, yes, you are. All right, so Dowel20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, we'll come back next time and... Uh, start using all this fancy oil that we got. Is that a cover? It is. I didn't mean for that to be there. I didn't mean for that to exist. It's okay though. Nice. Okay. Maybe we want uh, that. Just trying to make it look halfway decent. Not too shabby, y'all. Not too shabby. All right. Double 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, you know what to do. Take it easy.